more about matrices and control systems within and beyond our realities. As I spoke about the matrices and control systems in my previous message, I thought it would be good to explain a bit more about all these systems. There are many matrices, or control systems that interact on many different levels. They are also controlled by different groups. There is however one group, a very small group, that barely anyone knows about. They are the ones really in control. This is something that even some of the groups controlling these matrices do not know. No one really knows this group. They have been in the shadows pulling the strings for most of the Earth's timelines. Many would say, just delete these matrices, but this is not the solution as some of these matrices are being used for humans to experience what they want to experience upon Earth. These matrices interact and or are partly controlled by other matrices. Deleting one is simple, but there are many backups, so deleting one of the matrices or even all the matrices will not solve the problems. This because like our computers they have a backup system. Yes, it might go offline for a short amount of time. But think about the chaos this will cause as many humans are so deep within these matrices that taking them out of it would create a chaos you cannot imagine, when each human loses their footing, their security of being and thinking they were completely human, their reality destroyed and so much more. Their belief systems proved false in a second. They would wake up, but it would be a rude awakening and once the matrix goes back online, many will think it was a dream, and they will just move back into their what I would call almost zombie-like state. Some might wake up, but I have seen some of these awakenings and many times they result in psychological problems in a way that they cannot follow the path of further awakening but will end up under medication. The few that will, or might be able to handle it, will awaken no matter what as it is already on their path within this lifetime. And when we speak of going offline, we speak about seconds, not hours or days. Many think that repairing the grids within and around the earth will help, or maybe even setting up a new grid. The problem is that many control systems are not just control systems, they are also watching systems. Do not for a moment think that the control systems and the ones in control of these systems are not watching everything within the human reality and beyond. They can see human actions, but they can also see changes within the energies. The biggest problem we encounter is that we must learn to become invisible, yet stay visible as well. To explain this is not easy as it requires a real understanding of energies and ability to work with energies. In simple words, it means what they see you as in the control systems is not what you are. So, part of us stays within the control system as a false front so to speak, and the real part of us works on becoming free of all the control systems. I am sorry I am not able to explain this more in words, but the experience and energetic, or spiritual and human reality of this process cannot be explained in words. All I can do is give the information that I can explain in words and some pictures as I have experienced it and hope that the ones ready to awake will find it helpful as they have some information here for them to awaken a bit faster. This doesn't mean take it all for granted and accept it without experiencing and researching all this information. Awakening is only possible by experiencing all of this yourself. It is a guideline of what to look for. What can be done to move out of all these matrices, control systems and realities that come with it? You have to become aware of all systems of control within and outside of you. This means being open and allowing yourself to see through every reality without preconceived belief systems and opinions. Only then will you be able to free yourself. Below you will find some pictures that I have made to give some explanation about these matrices and how they interact to control this earth reality and many realities beyond our earth reality. There are also many timelines involved and I will speak about that more in another message. I have made the pictures without really showing the grids and matrix systems energetically. I did this because I know there are many, even with good intentions 
that will try and make changes or more. If any of you intend to do so, you will have to find them yourselves. For me changes at this moment are not needed. We have many matrices we are connected into and we start with the universal matrix. Our own Earth matrices intersect with many other matrices, including dimensional matrices. Even the new Earth reality has a matrix system, as each created reality must have an outline of what it is to be used for. Every reality has in this way a matrix system as we create them for a certain purpose. Now this means that like with every creation it can be used for good or bad. At this moment, the basics are awakening for those who are ready. They can work with this reality to accomplish the first steps of awakening. This doesn't mean this reality is free of control, but the control systems have allowed a certain awakening within the control systems as more beings are awakening by themselves. The awakening within this reality still requires you to be aware and open to the truth behind this 5D reality, as it is still a controlled reality. Therefore, the main belief, that once you reach 5D you are free, is not completely true. You must find the truth within this reality by your own experience and search for freedom. Even upon Earth there are several matrix systems running. The matrix is like a computer that can run many programs but has an overall program to allow those programs to run within one system, like Windows. Many of these programs are also communication systems, and they keep track of any progress within the reality matrix that they are running. In other words, they keep track of how many awake, how they awake, how far are they awake, etc. But there are also some programs, matrixes that run on their own within the overall program. Many of these programs are running holographic experiences. There are also creational programs used to create a certain experience for beings within the matrix. Most of these matrixes are part of the control system. This includes some of the grid systems in and around the Earth. Every planet, and sometimes star systems, within our universe have their own matrix. Many races have their own matrix, like the Arcturians, Syrians, Plutons and more. Everything is overlaid and connected into the overall matrix as well as into each other. Most people are still on the 3D timeline, some are on 3D and 5D or New Earth, and some are fully on 3D, 4D and 5D.